Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Recently Vivas have been accused of plagiarizing g Idol with their latest comeback, Pull Up. In this video I will be going over how exactly this controversy began, and my own opinion on the situation. Before we begin though I mean absolutely no hate to Vivas or g Idol. It is not the group's fault it is simply their companies. I'm sorry, but whoever came to the conclusion this was copied must be the biggest Vivas anti out there, because these are not that similar. Yes, they are both red, but that's literally the only similarity, since when was it illegal to use the color red in a logo? In conclusion though, I can sorta see where Neverlands are coming from, but just please take one good look at these logos and truthfully answer whether or not these look the same, because they don't. Yes I can definitely see where they're coming from, both sets are large bulky buildings with red neon signs. The context of both on the other hand, are not the same. In G Idol's video for Tomboy, their background is used as a theater which is relevant to the music video and is used a lot in it. And with Vivi's, their building is meant to be a shop which again, is relevant and used a lot in the music video. But then again, is this really the first ever time we've seen a building with neon signs on a K-pop music video? Because trust me they are quite common. Just don't jump to conclusions with this one. You just know this entire community must be so bored to the point they have to call someone out for stepping out of a car in a music video. It's not even like the cars were that similar either. I don't even know why this one pissed me off as much as it did but like come on, there are more interesting plagiarism cases than this one. Anyways. This was definitely way over exaggerated in my opinion. It's a car. She's stepping out of a car. Get over it. I mean, it's a suit there's really not much you can do with it style wise. In the end they were always going to look the same. I mean yeah they could have made it less obvious but calm down. It's a suit at least 10 other groups have most likely done it before. In the end. Both groups went for a suit type concept, they were never going to look different. This is definitely one of the accusations I feel is one of more debatable ones in the sense that, yeah, a creative director for Vivas could have just watched the music video for Nude, came back to BPM Entertainment and came up with this idea but used it in a different context. G Idol made a statement with theirs but with Vivas they simply put on G in a box with flowers. I have no idea what Vivas were trying to portray with their glass box. 